Now get to the fan coil actuator. It is commonly used to control the HVAC. The main characteristics are up to three level fan speed can be controlled and status response, auto operation and limitation function, forced operation, behavior operation for bus failure and bus recovery HVAC control. The two pipe system or four pipe system can be controlled by two state on off valve or continuous PWM valve. Local or bus to control valve also respond the valve position status. HVAC mode can be set to standby mode, comfort mode, night mode, and protect mode when the valve is controlled via local and HVAC mode status response. Local temperature measure wire inputs external PT1000 sensor. Scene function interface output. The relay can be used as switch output when it is not used to control the fan speed or valve. Switch output of special functions. Time, logic, scene, force, operation hours count. Two channels of 0 to 10 output can be used for fan or valve control. Then let's take a look of the database on ETS. In this section, I will show you all possible parameters, but I just emphasize some important ones. Okay, let's look at the ETS, the fan coil actuator with 0 to 10 voltage. Okay, this is the general setting you can see this can be set. And interface setting, if it is relay control or 0 to 10 volt drive type. And the HVC control mode, heating, cooling, or heat and cooling. The HVC system is two pipe systems or four pipe systems. And the heating valve drive, we have to choose the correct one. Okay, that's the interface setting. Next is HVC. For the HVC, we can set this. And for the temperature, we can use the local sensor, we can also use the external sensor, and we can use both local and external sensor. Okay, we can combine these two sensors. For the set tile, set point, we can see here, and we can set different mode. Standby, comfort, night mode, frost and heat mode protection. Okay, and for the heating, valve, we can control two state on off and continuous PWM. <coughs> for the two state on off, we can set this, and for the continuous PWM, we can also set this. Okay, for the cooling valve, we also have these two types, okay, it's the same. And for the sink control, it's very important and it supports at most eight, eight sinks, okay. And that's the main function for the general. Now let's get to each channel. If we use as switch, switch like this, this is the parameters can be set. And the special functions, as you can see, is almost the same with the switch actuator, okay? This one is different, okay? So that's the main functions of the Funko actuator. Thank you. Stay tuned.